Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits back at it again, playing Hellcard again with Javo. This time we're not hey playing with, uh... Yep, hello Javo. My apologies. This time we're not playing with any, uh, additional torments. We're playing on Torment Zero. We're basically just, uh, you know, dinking around, seeing what happens. But we're also able to showcase here something that we didn't showcase the first time, which is, uh, Starter Relics. Each class has access to a number of... Well, they're called starting artifacts. My apologies. I always get my games uh, jumbled up. And for a cost of some of your starting gems, different ones costing different amounts, you can start with different class-specific benefits. Generally, they're good for your specific class. For instance, this one on the warrior here, Unagi, cost me one of my three starting gemstones. And I start each battle with five stamina points. Stamina wasn't necessarily something that uh, occurred a lot in our last game, but we should be able to hopefully build into that and do some potentially breaky stuff. And Jay, if you want to talk about uh, your starting artifact here. I spent all three of my starting gems instead to start with the veteran pin. Uh, as you increase level with any given character, you unlock new artifacts as starting artifacts. Uh, I've played a lot of Rogue, and so instead of my starter deck, I get four random starters, four random commons, and one random rare as my starting deck. And uh, I have no idea what they are. There may be some card synergies. It might suggest a certain direction of which way to play the character. But I have to assume they're better than starter cards, and I'm gambling that that's going to be worth my three money. And you can actually look at your deck and see what it is right now. Let's check it out. So it looks like it actually sort of balanced you down. You have two starting sharp arrows, two bucklers, a lot of draw it looks like in here, or a lot of zero cost is what I'm, yeah, drawn zero cost, which is interesting. Yep, I got, uh, it. The pin does force you to take four starters, so that's where the arrows and bucklers come from. The rest? Yo, this is kind of slick. I'm not going to lie. Would a die at least is a zero cost, so there's some synergy there between luck and uh, yeah. import, kind of. Uh, although random mark isn't awesome. Uh, payback is pretty cool. It uh, encourages me to save some money and to always have three gems unspent so that I get the extra kicker effect. Uh, and adapt is also kind of like duplicating luck, largely. So I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm looking for anything that puts zero cost cards into my deck. Yeah, some zero cost cards and probably actually some stuff that actually uses mana, but... Yeah, it's very interesting, though. That actually oh, looks like it paid out. Anyways, I, on the other hand, am stuck with the little uh, basic deck, and I'm going to look for some more cards. So you want corpses? Do you want to get rid of any of your commons to make those picks more comp more often? That would. Uh, I don't think we're ready to upgrade stuff, but I might. That could be potentially good, as in the no. uh, the removal. The removal, I think, is better because I want to save my money, and I probably am going to keep what I got since what I got right now is better than average. But this might help you because I want to save three money so that um, I get the kicker on my extra card. Loaded die, see where it ends up. Sounds good. That guy. That's pretty huge. I have a... <clears throat> I can teamwork if you want to draw a card. Um, It wouldn't be too big for me, so I think I'm going to block you up. And I'm honestly thinking... Uh, 
I have two sharp arrows. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be trying to help you out there. I have a stun. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're saying the stun is all you have? Um... Yeah, but I can pick which one I want to stun. Yeah. Uh, and I can also buckle for one, so like I won't take any damage. It'll be all right. Oh, okay. die if you if you want to pop the guy with a mark i can die onto somebody else after you bash the guy with the uh oh do you, does it have to it doesn't hit random it hits Add the one guy mark with the to mark. a random monster but we don't want to double him he's already got two marks on him anyway okay i don't understand how he didn't get hit <laughs> um that guy too <laughs> I can stun one. Uh, I can teamwork if you want to. You're out of mana. Um, yeah, I'm out of mana. I so thought I had all of them highlighted. That's pretty efficient. And then if you have another arrow, you can just finish him. I can do that. That's true. And then we do that. Well, we managed our way through that nonsense. trouble is I don't have very much offense. All I can do is just draw into something and hope <laughs> yeah, that draw a ton of cards. <laughs> it's, like, mm. it's not great. So hopefully I get some offense here. Um, Clockwork Arrow is pretty good. It's either Clockwork Arrow or Caltrops. I think it's Arrow. Yeah. Four damage to, inf to anything in far that wants to move or is faint is like good only on the ghost fights. Well, I guess, like, the goat dudes run around a lot. But I think for now it's clockwork. I'm just desperately trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> because, uh... Like, you're giving me a ton of draw, but yeah. I don't have anything good enough to want to draw. To play again, right. Exactly. I mean, we got crown here. Crown isn't bad. Sword steel, uh plus two damage. Get some AoE with slow... Oh, lose four max HP for golden ticket. My bad. My bad. Are we gonna gamba? Are you gonna gamba? Well, if I have three money, then I get the extra kicker off payback. If I lose... That means I didn't buy Torn Button and to max life. So basically, for, for one money, I gain six max HP, which seems pretty good. Or I have a chance to earn three money on a 50-50. I guess if I take the veteran pin, I kind of have to go all in on the rando. So let's see. Ha! Rewarded! never punished well here's the other bit is that i can spend one of these three to roll again and try to get five 
I mean, at that point, I'd say that that's pretty good because after this next floor, you're going to be at three and then you're at the break point for your, uh, your stun refunding. Agree, which is why I said, no, I'll, I'll stop at three. Um, I have ruins again and you have sage. That seems good. I or do you could want to grab armory instead for an upgrade. Nah. We don't have that, the econ to be spending yeah, up. It'd Just mainly be have... for you, because I don't want to spend time upgrading starter cards. Exactly. And and I think that pruning the few starters that we have while I look for better offense along the way will be okay. I'm also looking for zero cost cards. Maybe. Or I just don't care and I roll my own. Uh, I have a die. This little piggy goes to market. Uh, meat map. I have an arrow that I can use to zonk it if you want to save that for the, this pig, perhaps. I mean, what pig. I... Do you have another arrow? I do. Okay. Because then we can do that avoid guy and... I have a buckler as well, and I can teamwork if that order matters to you. Or if you want to do one damage yeah. to him, I can finish. Yeah, we might as well just remove him from the board. Yep. No, I agree. And... Uh, do you want a card just to see? Uh, I guess if it's free. Yeah, might as well. Well, it's free for you, one for me. So Actually, if, I get zero... if it's crown, then I can't play it. So let's not do that. Oh, I would have been able to play it. Crown is one. My apologies. I have payback. But, uh... What do you I have? Can, I can clockwork a, a three. Or... Okay. Is that all you have? Well, I have some draw. Um, I have a payback and clockwork arrow are my two reliable bits. Okay. Like, I can just take out one of my own archers, that's fine. Yep, I can take out the other one, and then you can draw and see if you can get... And I have a payback to cover you if we need to. Okay. I got teamwork, which doesn't help you. Uh, I guess I have payback. Blow to die. Rip. Probably should have picked him off first. Hmm. Right. Well, we have sticks and stones now. Okay, so you want armor. Yeah. So, so I, can, I, I could upgrade I, that into breakthrough, which allows me to deal damage equal to my block in a far and arrow cone. That yes. could solve our uh, our AoE problem. Okay, I like that. I have the choice between a zero-cost second loaded die and huh. just throw marks everywhere and who cares, or a two-mana lash out where I deal damage to a target in near range equal to my incoming damage, which seems pretty good against bosses. I don't know how often we're going to get stuff in near, but I, I do have some synergy with zero-cost cards. Okay. I, I could kind of pop off and just start marking everything. Yeah, that might even help out a little bit. Um, I also have 
I have the option of taking Tavern Sign for all my money. So here's the issue, right? If... Okay, I actually don't have one. But, uh... Okay. <laughs> Good talk. The idea is, is that I want to upgrade the sticks and stones as soon as possible. However, Tavern Sign gives me block for everything trying to kill me. Which yes. is free block, which seems good when you're trying to deal damage with block. But it takes me way far away from actually getting to that point. But since I have a boss in two floors, I think we're all right with that. Are you content if I remove a buckler? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm hoping to get some AoE shielding as well, but we'll just see how that works out. I want to go corpses for new cards. Sounds good. I'm going vault. That was my other option, so that works out very well. Mainly because I have a golden ticket, so it costs one for me to look at some legendaries. Yeah, do that. The rich get richer. Do you want to see where the loaded die lands? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> it's a thing. Are you able to block yourself? I can, and I can draw some cards which might let me do more. Okay, I, just because, yeah, I was prepared for that to pop off. All right. I have a sharp arrow, or a clockwork arrow actually is better. Three or two if it's near. Well, you can protect yourself, and then I can just yeah. go ahead and block. Getting rid of those imps at the right time was the more crucial thing. Totally before they buff themselves up to like five damage and then we eat it like we did last time. We got through it, it was fine. Yeah, we survived. We survived, we didn't die. The only hit point um, that matters is your last, right? I would true. like draw if you're asking that question. Always. There it is. Um, now I just get to decide what I want to blow up for seven. Oh, if I had the AoE, though, just imagine. Okay. That's a kill. If you have another loaded die, I can uh, maybe I get another kill might be able to off. create one. I'm trying oh, to wait. Like... I actually have no mana. Never mind. I'm a liar. Right, you're going to want to consider blocking yourself again. <laughs> okay. Now, what's actually dealing a lot of damage to me? You are... And unfortunately, that's all I got, so... Okay. Then... You're going to have to find a way to... Uh, not die a horrible death well we're not dying that bad yeah this would make a pretty shitty YouTube video if we died on floor 3 I don't know maybe if we added some torment modifiers it'd be kind of spicy oh, I'm surprised you didn't actually use those to uh I suppose you still wouldn't have killed. I wouldn't have killed it, so I may as well reduce damage to you. Alright, I've got sticks and stones. Sword Slash just does four. And I honestly think... Do you want a card? Well, oh, Mighty Blow is fine. Yep. Uh, 
this matters. Change shirt. Hey! Or another clockwork arrow. I think chain shirt is probably better. Especially since I can give block, which doesn't that double dip with your tavern? It doesn't double dip, but uh, it's pretty good because you'll give me as much damage as I have incoming damage, and then for each attack, I block myself. But uh, nice. once I get breakthrough, that's just solid AoE if we happen to get those both on the same turn. I am also being offered the tavern sign. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty The other good option block. is that I can get, um, I can just buy trickle down. Which is probably a good idea since I'm hoarding money anyway. I think trickle down is better than tavern right now. We need the AoE. Ooh. They're offering me a boomerang shield. Yes. However, I can also exchange a sword slash for dread to give two block to all heroes when I kill a monster. Yeah, dread is fantastic. I almost feel like that's Both. definitely the <laughs> like that, think, that I, trade I in it. particular is just insane. Yeah. Nice. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I have my boss. Okay, uh, and a camp, which is nice. Do you want to lose cards or upgrade cards? Um, let me take a look at what I have on my path. Probably lose cards, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking it's lose. Actually, if you're gonna be the, if you're gonna be the combo and I'm the one that makes you draw into stuff and sets up, then we want you actually make getting me your big... make me upgrade. I won't get the option to do that for a long time so okay. I can go straight into Breakthrough. Cool. And you'll have the money to do it. Downside. I pick pigs. Here's a die. I have a chain shirt for you if you want it. That would be fantastic but it's only going to block me I can I... install and then I can block you for two buckler and kill something I guess oh gee <laughs> the sound of incessant snorting I have trickled down this is six. Oh, okay then you have all that yeah I'm just trying to find how many of them and that leaves me taking three seven Oh, because he's still alive. Okay, now I'm in kind of a pickle here. I can install Dread. Actually, oh, I, I guess that's the that, right That would have been move. better to have done before AOE. Oh, this one isn't any kill. Oh, it's only it's yours. It's my kill. Oh, okay. And so then I can at least take out... Actually, I suppose the one that's worse for you is... Oh, wait. He's not marked. Okay. We'll kill him. Block cool. you some. Yep. And we're going to a camp after this anyway. Like, I know I had the boss, but they just decided to put literally everything on your side. Oh, and then that? 
Come easy. on, man. And you don't have your kick? I don't get a kick. <laughs> hey, good mark, though. All right. Um, I need to figure out how to... Do you want a card? Yeah, help you not die. Allow me to mighty blow first here. Yeah, you got dread up. Yeah, I'll take that card because if it's uh, sticks and stones. Oh, chin shirt. I'm good. And then I can put like damage on that guy, I guess. Load a die. I have trickle down. This is six or seven on the mark. Sounds good. Oh, I thought I had another mana there. Okay, that's making me feel a little bit better. You're not the only one. Uh, I can deal with... Hmm. I can give you a card if you want it. I will take that card. I can stun one of those. Do you want me to stun? Or I can kill the three at the distance. You want me to stun the five? Um, yeah, sounds good. Whatever's well, clever revenge at this from point. summoning next turn, right? At least. Well, not necessarily. It means that he doesn't attack this turn. Double die. Oh, what a hit. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, I would have changed shirt to you. Uh, he can't be hit for more than four, anyways. Oh, easy then. All I have is a sword slash. Dig. Hmm. Oh, did can find ignite, or I mean, um, all those luck cards, etc. Yeah, I'm totally taking dig. I think I just became a bomb build. <laughs> well, that'll certainly solve uh, the turns where I don't have a breakthrough. Okay. The legendary on my screen was tempting, but... I need money. No hideout? Now I just need to find save or root. That allows me to save my block. Okay. I have a changed shirt. I have a teamwork. Hmm. This really isn't a <laughs> great turn for me. Um, you might want to change shirt yourself. I can stun one of your mobs. I can stun that six. That'd be great. The puffy corpse with seven block is kind of a problem. It's rude. 
All right. Flashbang bomb. Do you want it on your near or your far? Or my far? Probably your far, actually. I didn't draw anything good. Neither did I. I can't get both of these guys. Can I kill enough stuff to block us with dread? Not me, yeah. likely. But this will kill two. That'll kill two. Okay, hold up. If I had two more, then I could get, like, three kills here. Oh, well. This is us. Sounds good. I have trickle down for six. I can sharp arrow this this guy for two. Sounds good. All I've got is block, but I'm safe. Okay. Here comes the chain shirt. <laughs> oh, I'm not being attacked. I do have the chain shirt for what it's worth. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's three, but... Would you like a card? Yeah, maybe. That's five. Yeesh. Right. Um I can't even kill anything right now. I can I can block with three on me or three on you. Or I can stun a target, but Well if we stun this dude, does that mean we don't take any damage? He's been stunned last turn, so he can Oh he was stunned last turn. He's um, yeah. Because my block can't apply on you. Like, I can't give you my shield. Or I guess I could have shirted you. It's okay, they're not blocking, so next turn I should hope... Oh god, they double healed. If I knew that was the play, I would have shirted you. Precision bomb and a flashbang bomb. That's all you got? Yeah. Oi. Okay. Um. hates it. Double Ignite. <laughs> Nothing's attacking me again. I know. Oh.
Hmm. Doesn't really do much for you. A little bit. All right, chain shirt. I do have a chain shirt. All right, that just may have done it. Do you want a card? Um, I don't think that that will make much of a difference. Should yeah, I? Yeah, no. Should I shield myself? Wow! What a combo! Nice. Hmm. Trickle down. For six. Are you able to, uh... Well, if you do that, then you'll die. Um... I guess the right move is to do that. Stun yours. I think I got it, and I have you. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty rough. <laughs> it is pretty rough. Death by a thousand paper cuts, it seems. Get out of my game! Well, that was unexpected. Yeah. Certainly wasn't... It wasn't expecting to lose that much health there. None of these options are particularly good for me right now, I think. I'm gonna have to save my money for healing. So the good news is we do have a camp that we're going to. The bad news is this is my boss. Hmm. Gold. 
Goldfish, though. Goldfish, I think, is gonna save us. Goldfish, clutch. I'm gonna gain two hit points, you're gonna gain six. Something like that? Is that how it works? I don't know what happens when you already start below ten. Yeah. Or does it just kill you. I mean, at least it get it over with. <laughs> it did. Go! It did what, what it was supposed to. All right, I gained two, you gained six. That was great. Um, that said, I intend on <laughs> getting my ass beat here, so I'm just gonna install. Great. Seems good. Um, let's see if I can take out some imps. Seems good. I'm That'd dealing eight great. with my trickle down right now, so. This guy and this guy's uh, walking it. Oh, you got eight? I have eight. If we can do two to this dude. Unfortunately not. But no, you can at I'll least just... bring him down to the point to where he can. I'll just oh, do he'll it. just kill him. I gotcha. I'll just, I'll just handle it. I just didn't feel like taking the poison. But it was better than taking like whatever he was going to do to this turn. Now look at this clutchness right here. Oh. Boom! We're just Change printing her. HP. Thanks, the goldfish. Change her for me, so I'm not concerned unless you need it for something. But you're not being attacked, so... Yeah, you might as well shield yourself because I'm about to, uh... Blow myself up here, I think. Like, these... The Skelzerker is just making these imps dangerous. They do. I can do... Two to a close. Or uh, three to a wanna... I, I can just blow him up if you want. Yeah. Oh, that's you? That's dangerous. I think I might be dead. Maybe. Because he's guys... about to uh, do that. <laughs> do that. Oi! Yeah, I think that's us. That might be. So. Hmm. I kind of needed you to drop low, but <laughs> not too low. I'm going to take exactly five. What a drag. Meep mom. I will. So, do we blame the veteran pin? Well. I, I don't know. Standard, like... If I had a standard rogue deck, would that have been okay? Like, if I had a, uh, a rogue tactics, if I had a kick, if I had, like, the dependable rogue starter kit... I'm not too sure, honestly. I... Because I wasn't too spectacular either. Like, you would have been able to remove some stuff, yeah. Well, all right. We can do a little bit of a salty run back. That works for me. Right now? We can go, though. Sure. Let's see what you got this time. <laughs> Vault and camp. Oh, as far as the deck goes, let's check it out. You're starting with the Precision Bomb, which is okay. Shakedown? Two Shakedowns. Two Shakedowns? Two Shakedowns. So, I guess we're uh Well, at least we can get you again. some money. <laughs> and the Bottomless Purse allows me to select a hero, draws two cards. Um... So I can go fishing for my ignites or more shakedowns. Backflip as well. Um, not crazy about that card, but fine. Maybe it'll upgrade into something cool. And then my starters. At least it's an offensive deck. Yeah, it's certainly something. I mean, I at least got good combat cards. Except for uh, 
this uh, first fight, you're going to basically have no damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, I spent all my money to get the pin to get me the cards, yes. Well, at least it's fight one, famous last words. Apparently Buckler can be applied to somebody else. Alright. So I should be able to... Set that up for you. Payback, that's a money card. I think we take those. <laughs> Three mm. vaults. <laughs> what? Well, I can get the burrito. Hey. Burrito's pretty clutch. It's not very good at this stage in the game, but... It also is fun on in the Goatman levels, where you know that you're going to get Blood Chalice. I think I'm going to risk it with the die. Randomize my mana from 1 to 6. Why not? I mean, after all, we uh, we only have thirty minutes left in a typical uh, typical vid, anyways. Might as well make it spiced. How fast can we fail, or how fast can we win? Exactly. Double double corpses. I'm hoping it'll let me exchange into something. <laughs> okay. I can buckler you. I can deal a sharp arrow's worth of damage. You shouldn't be able to buckler me. Evidently, uh... Oh, maybe it was a different card. No, you're right. I can only buckler myself. You're right. I was about to say, as much as I want that to be true, um, no, are right. we able to deal... Yeah. I can do two to him. Yep. Is that the only one I'm getting? Yeah, I'm out of Sounds good. I needed to do some back flippies. You still got shot, though. I did. 
but I took one instead of three. And it's going to persist for several turns. Like, it saves me a lot of damage here. I have shakedowns, uh, so I can deal two to specific targets. Okay. Uh, I can also throw a stun. That I guess I got to like bog that dude for sure. Yep. That guy. And then what I'm going to do is this. Neat. Take it you uh, didn't get your shakedown back, though? I did. Oh. I have two of them, as a matter of fact, now. In my hand. Well, too bad but I can't give you a, a mana for that. Give me money. Or mana, right. So two damage, I can kill a pig. Or I can uh, stun damage, I can you stun can set three. this up for me. Or do you want me to stun him? Um, oh, I see. You yeah. have a kill? Okay. Yes, I can do that. I'll just take my licks. I also in the center of the Tootsie Pop. All right. Oh, I have six mana. The world is my oyster. <laughs> I guess the random die pops off. Can you off. Uh, block yourself? I can. Of these. Do I gamba fifty fifty for the money? I think I have to, right? Or if I don't, next turn I will have three money. I think it's worth it. I also have a similar quandary. I failed. I do have a smithy after my boss. So I do have Air quotes, good things coming. So I think I can afford to gamble. Never punished. Off. I was punished in your stead, so that somewhat cripples our shakedown strat here, but I can make it work. It's still one mana for two at choice, so... I think I'm going to take the money and run. No imps in melee, thank you. So I can shake down the one for two. Actually, I can just kill this dude. Hmm. Is it better to, for me to control imps away of a chance? They're not moving this turn. I believe so. Kill him anyway? Yeah, to kill him. All right. I don't want him armoring up so I can kill him this next turn. Hmm. 
can stun my three. I guess that works. Seemed like setting up that one for you to kill was a good idea. Absolutely. Shake I have barricade spell. again in all the mana in the world. See, now why can't I have like sticks and stones or something? Hmm. The world is cruel. Once you get all the other crappy sword swings out of your deck, you'll be fine. Danger. Hmm. My uh, targeting is wigging out. Can you see that? Yep. That's all I can do for you, bud. That's all right. Hopefully I pull the ignite here for this bomb. That would be nice. Look at that. I guess it's just more efficient for me to do this. Oh look, there's sticks and stones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I won't say no. Hmm. Do I gamble on gemstones this time? Hmm. Oh, reward! Thank goodness. I did not get rewarded. Okay, this next fight is going to be rough. That's fine. But I have I have eight damage shakedowns this turn, so eight damage. Yeah, and two of them. Okay. And I have a free stun now as well. That was pretty large. This is rude, though. I don't know why they want to be like this to me. Hold up, I got you. Nice. Um... Seems a very large skeleton. I am honestly quite spooked about that. I'm not gonna lie. It's the Whopper. Amazing. Would you like a precision bomb in your uh, near? Yes, please. Would you like me to stun him as well? That would be amazing. Let's do and that. Then then I can you. just throw one of these out here. And do you have something for him? I got all kinds of tricks. Okay. Things, again, it's gonna be a little slow. Yeah, 
Yeah, right. AoE, but uh, I assure we'll you, something to be desired. If we make it past the next floor, <laughs> we're good. Then we're good. Here's your ignite. I just keep rolling sixes. See, position. this is what went wrong in the first one. We didn't have die. You didn't cheat hard enough, that's all. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> I have a buckler. Seems good. Ish. And I'm almost wondering if... I no, I probably should just take care of you. Yes. I don't know. You seem a little biased towards that. Yes, you should take care of your j -boat. I'm in support of this. I have a stun again for whatever. Oh. We'll just take care of it then. He did leave some friends behind. It's okay, these are much easier to block than he is. <laughs> okay, I do have to admit that I uh, did not take a look at my mana. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The cry for help. Alright, so... Took some damage, which isn't great, but it's alright. <laughs> maximum effort? Absolutely, I'm taking that. Or I can get a, a third shakedown or maximum effort. Give all heroes additional mana next turn. For I think free. in order to get us through this next floor, I need to take this one card. Even though it's not very good for me. YouTube's looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? Um, good, good thing, by the way. Um, we got a forge, so we don't have to wait till next floor. <laughs> you don't have much in the way of draw, do we? You don't... I... I am good. I just gotta get my deck down, which thankfully there is. Well, I mean, we'll Gamba. That's how we'll do this. We got it. Okay, we're going to remove two selected cards. Get rid of these little stinky things. We don't like them. I guess the thing that we like the least is probably these. My boss as well. Now it's your boss. And a forge. I am yes. about this. Okay. Let's grab a beverage right quick. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Okay, so we drew readiness, so I can start explaining this. We have now gotten to the point where we can aggressively not play this game. So, what readiness does is it gives us six block, six stamina, and draws two cards. Now the main thing we're looking for here, and the reason why we started with Unagi, five stamina down here, is because of the fact that whenever we get over ten stamina, we enter what's called stamina burst. And what Stamina Burst does is it makes us draw two cards and the next card that we play is played twice for free. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this. And we're going to draw four cards because we Stamina Burst. Now, here's the kicker. Since we have the right amount of cards to where we will draw past our discard, readiness comes back into our hand so now we're able to play with stamina first so it's played twice for free so we're going to go ahead and play that and as you may have realized six times two is twelve so not only did we stamina burst again we're gaining and that's what this little extra stamina here is for and we're just going to keep going 
That's a lot until of we get dude. to two. And then, thankfully, readiness of all other stamina options gives us access to block. So now we have 66 blocks. Sticks and stones pretty much just kills anything I want on impact. That guy doesn't seem very nice. I'm going to get rid of him. We played twice, whatever. But um, we have now gotten to the point to where Javo technically doesn't have to play the game. There's tons of uh, things in this game where they're going to get in the way of me being able to do this. I can even still screw this up. I would like another readiness as um, sort of a protection against myself. But especially the bosses, both uh, the mini bosses and the final bosses are not very happy when you try and do stuff like this. Now, yeah. you, oh, go ahead. I'll say any of the encounters that cap uh, either the total number of turns per t uh, or number of actions per turn, or you have to alternate with your partner, for example, are to break exactly these sort of uh, builds. So, in those cases, I pretty much have to get as close to. Uh, I mean. What I want is AoE, which means that we need to upgrade sticks and stones into that breakthrough card that we saw earlier. Absolutely. And if I could get access to save, to save my block, at that point, we have officially won the game. I don't think that there's much that the game could do to stop us. You want to draw some cards? Uh, I, I fucked up the thing, so yeah, draw so some cards. It doesn't really do much for me. Um, I was too busy talking. I uh, should have played uh, Readiness one the, more time. But the good thing about Readiness is now we've got so much block that it really doesn't care. And thankfully, um, I killed everything on Javo's side first, so he didn't get blown up for my hubris. I had to take one damage from the imp that you decided to ignore. Yeah. To be fair, you probably would have taken that damage anyways. And you did blow up, like, everything on the left side of the screen. So I'm not mad. I'll take one. Another thing that we would be looking for is a rare artifact called Caltrips, Glass Caltrips, which takes my block at the end of the turn and randomly distributes it across enemies in the, uh... Oh, hello. Uh, my alarm just went off. I should be waking up right now. Oh! But, uh... <laughs> and do you have any draw for me? It's okay no. if you don't. Okay. I have an ignite, but there's nothing in your close or your near, so... We're fine. And this is what our other cards are for. Just being able to make do with what we have. Because we're not... We haven't gotten our deck down to five cards yet. So it's very possible for us to actually not draw in readiness in the opening hand. Which is not good. Alright. Let's make sure that we do this right this time. So, part of the reason why I like playing Warrior is because he fits a lot of the archetypes that I like in these types of games, and the other obvious reason is that I like breaking games, and Warrior loves breaking this game. For uh, those of you who might be like, well, how did this get past early access? Oh, I told them. Well, I guess we're in early access, but you understand what I'm trying to say. They did try to uh, nerf it quite a bit. Uh, none of these are good for us. I'm just going to build um, draw whenever able from here on out. I mean, it certainly helps. I Transform, am upgrade one, a random card. I am oh. one for four on Explorers. Oh, I got I punished. I have thrown away so much money. I'm trying to look at what I have down here. Um, I should have not done that because in three floor or two floors now, I would have had access to upgrade the sticks and stones into breakthrough. Well, how about I give you that chance again? Uh, I don't have the money now. Do you have it 
in. It'll be on, on floor, floor eight. eight. Floor, floor eight. eight yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'll give you, you a camp to possibly heal yourself then. That's probably going to be okay. I don't really want to spend the money, but at least I have it to spend. My job is mostly to empower you to do things, and then snipe stuff with big bags of cash. Yeah! Like blowing up all these ghosts, for example. Or well, if you want... I could I... use the draw. Uh, you... not today, sir. Not today? Okay, then not I can today. barricade. Oh, actually, I drew one mana! <laughs> Okay, That's a shame. so I can blow up the guy who's hurting me if you can get the guy who's hurting you. Yes, I can. We're fine. Uh, admittedly, dice was theoretically the one thing that could nip us, but um, it technically doesn't matter once I remove enough cards. Correct. And it also got us here. We had a number of six uh, we mana turns. We, that it, definitely... it carried pretty hard there. Uh, here's some maximum effort so you can just get a free mana every turn just in case your die decides to screw you over. I can make you draw cards. Sounds good. Would you like to draw another card? I think I'm good. Let's uh, hold that in case I screw it up. Sure. But I can, I can force you to draw another two. Oh, I should definitely barricade you first. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. I learned from my last mistakes. <laughs> the imps are very spicy when they pop. in a weird spot for me. Would you like to draw two cards? No. I, I appreciate there, it, this, but... This game doesn't always devolve when playing duos to where one person just buffs the other. But once you realize that the combo is there to be grabbed... Yeah, you go for it. Right. Uh, if You can certainly um, choose not to play with this degeneracy. And sort of uh, actually have like uh, people performing specific roles, but whenever you get co-op games like this, the best thing to do is actually to get somebody who is able to clear the game by themselves, and then other people just help out. If, when and if we start playing a ton of Inkbound, you might see that there too. Definitely. Inkbound is great, though. Like, I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of that. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait for early access. They they were going to give us a date, but then they were like, yeah, no, we can't give you guys a date. And I was like, son of a bitch. That's but fine. It, They're working it, on balance. Like, the game is there. It's just... It's pretty easy to go galactic right now, is all I'm saying. It is definitely easy to go galactic. Which is fun and awesome, and you get to watch all your particle effects blow up, but also you're like, well... Yeah, uh, some of us are only excited when our lives are on the line. That's real. Um... Dread? Yeah. If you have the mana to spare, which you might, and if not, you just don't play it. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like, that's just another card to get in the way, though, is the only thing that I'm thinking. That's also I'm, real. I'm about like, to remove care? a card. I think you can skip Dread. Like, honestly, we shouldn't worry about any damage incoming if you're just killing everything on the outgoing. 
Like I don't, I don't think you want to add cards at all. I think you just want to get down to the core combo, which further makes my forcing you to draw cards even less useful. But I gambled and failed because we knew I would. I just realized a very important thing here. What's up? We are going up against the the Archdemon, so Stamina Burst actually doesn't double. I think we I I think I do need Dread. Legitimately. Okay. Okay. Take it. Okay. I, I almost skipped it. Okay. And I don't have any, any of that draw. I can give you some draw. Ooh. We're Do you fine, need though. more draw? Uh, yeah, if you got more draw. That did it. <laughs> Teamwork! Alright, I promise I, you, I, you I, I flopped have both to... of my big draw cards for you. How's that, YouTube? That's much better. I do, however, have so many fucking healing bloods. <laughs> I think that actually scuffed it. <laughs> I think that really? totally scuffed it. Oh god, there's so many fucking healing blocks. Alright, well then I'm gonna stun this summoner just so we don't have to like spend more time uh, killing his ass. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean like, like <laughs> You just You're not allowed to do that. Oh fuck, I hit the thing that enrages. That was a mistake. Oh no. Where we should hopefully be fine. Uh yeah. I... We don't need healing. Might as well go to... Oh, actually. Here we go. I'm going to go for these Phantom Beasts. But if we hit up my armory, we can have 10 block every turn. Which not only is a very good defensive benefit, but also is less uh, cards that I got to play to have a good breakthrough. Seems good to me. It's fine. Five A we uh is probably good too. I'm hoping to just blow them up right away. <laughs> if I can blow them up in seven cards. Exactly. It's gonna be rough though. Well, I have all of the goodies to empower your combo. I should I just need to watch this. I have battle snacks, and I can make you draw four cards. I think I'm going to need to use, like, all of these. That's fine. Oh, what the hell? Okay, no. This is a problem. <laughs> Seven limit. Oh. Yeah, because I was double playing. Okay. Okay. I did fuck that up. Like, huge. Okay, so I need to stop much earlier and go for, like, zone here. Alright. Well, how much am I doing? Not enough. Okay. What do you, what do you need? Um, you would have to give me block. Can't do that. Well, yeah. I can give you healing, but that's not the same. No, we're fine. I just need to, I don't know if I can give you enough. I I'm can back double up for some of this, but I don't want to take a card play. Okay, hold up. I think I know how to do this. Dread would work. Double play Dread. Clear your entire side of the field. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can make you draw. Um, 
Not quite yet. Yeah, I don't know. That's going to be the challenge. Okay. okay, I could... No, actually, tactics will do it. Then I play this. Nineteen is almost enough. Maybe I just need to start by clearing your side of the field. It's still a lot of damage that you're taking, though. I mean, yeah, I know that, that that should get solved. Should, yeah, right. Uh, I don't think we have any summoners other than the Pope, so that's okay. Draw. Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we're actually dealing some good damage here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. It's just I, I, I think I, I, I understand the pivot now. Right, exactly. Did you get disarmed? That seems bad. Oh, but it's Dread that's doing it, not your cards. Quote, unquote. Right. However, that is still kind of bad. I just need to get a kill, and in order for me to get a kill... <laughs> um... So I can grant you a card and a mana. I can stun a thing. I can give you mana for next turn. I can reduce some of my damage, but again, if you're... The seven plays are more likely valuable for you to play than me. Yeah. Although I can stun the Pope, and he's doing 20. I think I have it with this for sure. <laughs> And I just need to kill as many things as I potentially possibly yeah, can. Yeah, as much trash as you can. Yeah, it's really whatever's clever, so I might as well take care of you. It's going to be 24 AoE block. And then we're going Fantastic. to draw it again. Do you want me to guarantee you an extra mana next turn? Is mana your concern or number of plays your concern? I would say number of plays is the concern. <clears throat> but if you need and to get that like out of your deck... Well, I can also heal myself. Uh, okay. <laughs> that seems pretty good. That is my secondary alarm telling me that I should be waking up. Uh -oh. I really, really mean it now. All right. So. Get this. Get this. I actually think what we do again is just more dread. Okay, I actually lied. I did run out of mana. Okay, so I have three plays to me. I like it. Right. Maybe we wanted him to summon? I think we kind of did. Oh, he's doing it again anyway. Pretty nice. But... 
I got all of my enable you stuff back, so yeah, we're fine. I'm just looking for the stamina burst because now I actually believe that breakthrough, yep, it's dead. Do you need a mana? Okay, now I could use a mana. Oh, we hey. almost screwed it up, but we did it, YouTube. <laughs> we had a thing we for a minute. We did the infinite. We even uh, got it that quick. We didn't list an hour. Exactly. Now we got to do it in, within uh, 30 minutes. That's right. Wait, is it 30 minutes? Maybe it's in. Maybe it's an hour, hour and a half, and two hours. I don't remember. I think it was 30 minutes is the fastest like speed run time they want you to break. It might be. And I have completely unlocked a lot of stuff. Lot of the rig stuff. I am now all unlocked, apparently. There you go. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, it is 30 minutes. Oh, geez. Yeah. So it would have basically very just little been commentary. Us. Yeah, no commentary. I think we could have done that because that one was like what 46 minutes. Anyways, 47, Yeah. Hopefully I can edit that somewhat so that that's a little bit more enjoyable for you guys at YouTube. Uh, if you have any feedback whatsoever, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Be that questions, concerns, comments, misplay alerts. And until next time, we will catch you guys around. Thanks for watching.